everyone i hope you're having a good november tell me what you're up to and if you've got any plans journeys weekends planned you know i'm a big fan of moving around and not staying still if you have a chance to do so this will be the last video of the denmark series it was filmed on my last day in denmark which was unfortunately without kate who went back home and I stayed because I had the flight at night, 10 p.m. And so that was good because I had the whole day. But at the same time, it was obviously a bit sad to be alone after almost three weeks with a dear friend. I decided to go visit the Louisiana Museum of Modern Art on my last day because it was Tuesday. And on Monday, it's always closed. So that's a thing to remember if you want to visit. The entrance was quite expensive, as all the museums in Denmark, really, and as everything else. Uh, but it was my favorite thing uh, from Denmark that I've seen, so I would say it was really worth it. I especially loved it because the Louisiana Museum is a 45 minutes train trip from Copenhagen Central. I loved uh, seeing a bit of the nice houses and not just the big buildings and flats of Copenhagen. train I made friends with a grandma and her grandson. She must have been about 60 or 65 but she looked really young at heart and she was really fun and her grandson was about 12 years old and we talked a bit because he could speak a bit of Italian and she could as well because they had an Italian relative in the family. And so that was really fun because I had some company on the train. And it's always so interesting to meet people from the place you're visiting. And they were the only two Danish people that I actually met and were not waiters or selling tickets. I loved the Louisiana Museum because it gave me a chance to go outside Copenhagen and to visit the surroundings and as I'm not a big lover of cities and I always prefer nature and quieter areas except for London and New York uh, which are my favorite cities while the Louisiana Museum is, um, is in a quiet area on the coast uh, with nice houses the sea was so rough and it was really amazing to see the big waves, the moody sky I really loved it, so I definitely recommend it if you've got a Copenhagen trip planned. These are the first chestnuts that I see this, this season. I don't even know if there's chestnuts in Scotland. In Denmark, umbrellas are as useless as in Scotland. They placed the cafe in the right place. 
because after this rain and cold you just cannot wait to go and have something warm while visiting the museum, I was starving, so I decided to have lunch in the restaurant of the museum. But I would not recommend it, because if you do not want to eat meat or fish, there's no options. There was just one option, which was so boring, and like I feel there was no effort at all to make a vegetarian option. And yeah, so I just had this boring plate of vegetables and a tea and I spent about 27 euro for this which felt really like wasting money. Obviously I know that everything is expensive because the salaries are higher in Denmark and but obviously I'm just speaking from my point of view as I live in Scotland. I knew before going to Denmark that it's the eighth most expensive country in the world. I was aware of that and I'm always happy to spend my money when it's worth it but when it's almost 28 euros for some boring unseasoned vegetables that makes me a bit angry. The positive sides are that the view was obviously stunning and it was probably the best view I found in Denmark. It was my favorite moment just being sitting there and watching the Baltic Sea and in, in the distance you could also see the bridge which links Denmark to Sweden. Now I'm walking back to the station and I'm flying back to Scotland tonight so I will have to change stations in Copenhagen Central and then I will proceed towards the airport. I must say I loved the Louisiana Museum, it was really beautiful. As you can see the weather is horrible, I can really feel that autumn is coming, I mean it's already autumn and I can feel that, but it's okay, it's okay. So. All in all, what can I say about Denmark? I definitely think that it's a place where you should go once in a lifetime if you're obviously interested and it's your kind of scenery and your kind of vibe and you don't mind the bad weather. 